So, well, hello folks and uh, welcome to another Sunday. The, uh, the weather today, as you can see, has turned out glorious. Not the weather that we expected. We expected a, uh, a horrible wet weekend, as they forecast, but uh, as always, weatherman's wrong. So, just as well. And uh, I put out a uh, Sunday ride series yesterday up into the Lake District. And uh, if you've watched that, you know I got caught out in the rain. So, uh, with the, the good weather that we've got today, just stunning, I thought I would uh, make use of it and uh, get out to, uh, to make another video. Hope you liked the footage yesterday in the video. And uh, I was using uh, quite a lot, the 360 camera. And uh, I found it to be really, really useful uh, when riding through places and uh, showing you different things. The beauty of it is, is it just captures that 360 shot and uh, you can literally in, uh, in edit point it where you want. So yeah, really happy with that, really happy with the quality of the camera and uh, happy with the investment. So we're coming out of uh, lockdown and uh, easing out slowly. I think the, uh, the shops, or most of the shops are allowed to open as from tomorrow. So that will be nice to uh, get back to some kind of normality. We've got a balmy 25 degrees today. And it's bringing out all the bikers, which is good. And uh, I don't know whether it's just me, but uh, the roads are busy today for some reason. What a glorious day. Look at the cows in the field there eating the green grass. Makes you feel good to be alive. I'm just looking at those uh, circled road markings back there, marking uh, the drain covers uh, out. I wouldn't be surprised if this whole road gets stone chipped soon. Because they normally mark the drain covers out with the uh, white paint beforehand unless they're just trying to fill in potholes but uh, yeah looking at the surface uh, it looks like it uh, could need with resurfacing but I'm not a lover of those stone chippings lots of bikers out today super day look at this this is why I ride this weather not too hot not too cold Lovely cloud formations, look at that. Blue sky. Also makes for a, a good image on the camera. The more light you can get into the uh, camera sensors, the better the picture. So we're going on about a uh, 100 mile ride today. And uh, we're just coming through Hornby. So I'm going to head up through Caton. And I'm going to go up through uh, towards Sebba and up that way and then we're going to head across the moors and try and uh, wheedle our way back through Hawes and down and uh, one of my favourite uh, roads just where you turn by the Ribbles Head Viaduct and we'll see if we can get some uh, drone footage at uh, some spectacular places so I do hope the, uh, the sound on the microphone is coming through okay today. Not sure why it was clipping. Um, I did move the microphone into the uh, like the forehead piece on the helmet, so it was quite a way away from my uh, my mouth. But there was definitely something going on with it. So I need to uh, need to figure that out. And uh, when I on uh, do my visor. And I'll just try it just now. So when I unclip my visor, I had a better, uh, better sound. Now that while that's okay at low speeds, at high speeds, obviously you get a wind noise uh, coming through. So let's have a look. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, talk and chat with you all while I've got my uh, my visor open, just cracked open. To be honest, it's, uh, it's quite nice to get some air into the helmet. So I did wonder whether it was a, uh, a pressure issue. 
um, because you can get a thing called pressure with microphones and uh, kind of messes the sound up so by having my uh, my helmet visor closed maybe it was too tight to seal I also have a chin skirt on so there's not much uh, air coming into the helmet at all although I do have the vents open today so let's see uh, not that we can test the uh, high speed because we're following this big co-op truck and doing 30 mile an hour so we'll have a look as we go through but I hope it's better and I uh, hope that's sorted out one thing I've always tried to do is get perfect sound and uh, the best quality video footage that I can uh, possibly get and uh, I did figure out a way to upload 4k from an iPad as I edit all my videos on iPad to uh, to YouTube and uh, I heard back some of you guys are watching in uh, ultra high definition TVs these days and not on a mobile or a, a tablet so uh, hopefully that's all sorted um, the challenge is trying to get uh, all the video footage so if you've got multiple cameras uh, i.e. the uh, Insta360 here and uh, also the Osmo Action both cameras obviously have a lot of different uh, specs uh, yes we can both do 4k um, uh, different frame rates and things so you've got to try and match the cameras up as best you can uh, so that when you do edit um, it doesn't uh, mess it up when you go to uh, to do a final edit on all the video clips so that's the trick I think just getting it all matched up in the edit process and at the uh, the initial camera take process so we'll see it's a little bit harder to do with the uh, 360 because currently we're recording in 5.7k 30 frames per second and uh, basically when you uh, edit it within the Insta app and then uh, pop it out it does only pop it out at 1080p so it's not 4k but the uh, the initial start point at 5.7k is a lot better so the 1080p footage is uh, is very crisp and clear and I think it looks uh, like 4k but that's looking from a tablet not from a, uh, a TV or one of these ultra high definition TVs so we'll see we'll keep working at it keep trying to bring you the best quality uh, footage that we can and uh, audio uh, we'll just see what well, the guys in leathers today I, uh, I do find that leathers tend to be a little bit sticky and hot in this weather need to get past these dudes okay so we're just arriving at uh, Devil's Bridge and uh, we're not going to stop and uh, socialize it two meters apart what we're going to do is head right by but uh, you'll see there's loads of bikers out there today and the uh, the brew van is still shut by the way so uh, it's not open uh, could be open from tomorrow by law uh, i think they're allowed so we'll see and i'll just show you how many people come here on a sunday the ice cream van is open and there's Devil's Bridge guys Viking Mecca that's about normal on a summer's day that amount I have seen it there with about 300 bikes and uh, the road opposite is normally full of bikes too Devil's Bridge at Kirby Lonsdale so that's the beauty about the, uh, the 360 camera is that we can you know as we're riding by all the bikes there we can pan around we can slow it down and we can uh, literally without looking at something get the uh, get the shot you need you want to see which is brilliant 
Um, so we're just on the uh, the road now from Kirby Lonsdale to Sedba. And we'll be heading through Casterton. Just here. Where there is a petrol uh, station, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure it's open. Or uh, if it's open all the uh, normal hours. Because uh, it is just a, uh, a very small one. And I think uh, they've probably suffered a huge uh, amount during this uh, this time. Yeah, so they're not open today. Got a pheasant there, wonderful pub. When it opens again. Not sure when pubs are allowed to open. Uh, I'm sure they had an announcement uh, about it the other day on the news. Need to pay more attention. Last minute turn decision for that guy just then. Made me jump anyway. Also I wasn't looking. I was looking at the uh, the white car and the guy sat on the grass verge. Not giving it my full attention. So I hope you like any views guys, this is uh, a real prime day with the weather we've got now and uh, all the trees and the grass so green, nice bikes here, everybody's out. feel very fortunate to live in such a place where you've got all these beautiful biking roads, beautiful scenery and countryside. So yeah, as you can see I'm rocking the uh, 360 camera on a, uh, it's actually on a GoPro suction mount just on the front screen here and uh, the image stabilization is that good even with it bobbling about a little bit with the, uh, the flex of the screen it doesn't affect the, uh, the image it's, uh, it's pretty good but I brought that out now today to uh, show you some different uh, different shots so I can actually stick that suction cup on the side of the bike and uh, show you that which I will do shortly. In fact, I'll do it now for you. Okay, so I've got the uh, suction cup on the side fairing of the bike now. and uh, Just a different angle, really. You can uh, turn round, spin round, and uh, also view the uh, front suspension and wheel working away there on these bumps. never really tried any uh, side of the bike shots before on my videos but I think with a 360 it'll be quite interesting uh, kind of shot so let's see how it turns out in the, uh, the edit so now we're up to about 55 miles per hour and uh, I just want to do a test on the microphone see how it's working so the visor's closed and uh, we just want to see how the uh, microphone's working currently. Hope it's better. Nice old bike. Nice helmet to go with it. 
nice old church in the middle of nowhere. The grass is growing between the gravestones a bit high. Needs a cut. Now we're just coming up to a uh, really nice house on the left. And that's uh, just before you get to the Swan Inn, which has a large beer garden, by the way. That house just there. Absolutely beautiful place. Middle of the country. So the Swan here on the left. Nice beer garden. Someone's just cutting it. Obviously getting ready to open up. I think it's next week. I'm not sure, but I think it's next week the pubs are allowed to open. I do hope so, because I do like pulling into places like that, just having a, a swift shandy of an evening. But what a beautiful day. This is, uh, to me, the ultimate conditions. 25 degrees, beautiful sunshine, nice roads, not going mad, just having a nice tour out. Makes me happy gives me that feel-good factor. Oh, and just there, there was an old uh, army bridge and that got washed away a couple of winters ago and uh, basically it's been fixed, which is all good. I did wonder because I haven't been up this road for absolutely donkey's years, or it seems like it. 